And the, the only Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said, "Whoever does not stop from rumor mongering, rumor mongering like what is happening in our this thing, people will just go and then snap people's picture and then show the picture and start sending rumors and all this sort of this sort of thing. If you don't stop it, you are not part of those who are fasting." There are nakedness of somebody going around in our country here that the person has sought, has fornicated, and the people want to what? We want to disgrace him and whatnot. You, the one involved into sending this message, if you enter into this, if you don't, you have to repent. After repentance, if you continue doing this sort of thing, you must know that you are not part of those who fast. Finally, my brethren. Take this note, and that brings us the end of the steps of preparing towards or establishing the coming of Ramadan. One, repentance, tawbah. It is for you to remove yourself from all sorts of things. Khaliyan min jami zunub. You stay away from all the sins. Wal afam. And all iniquities, the shortcomings that you have seen in your life in the 11 months that has passed, you do sit down and try to reflect back. Take the stock of your life and say, Oh Allah, here am I. Because Allah said, Inna Allah yuhibbu tawabin wa yuhibbu al-mutatahirin. Allah loves those who repent and those who are pure. May Allah make us pure. This is the first step. So Ramadan is coming. By Sunday, we are going to look at the, the lunar calendar. I want to look at the crescent. When it appears automatically, we shall fast on Ramadan, on Monday. On Monday, we shall fast. Ah, is that how you are going to face the fasting? Which is your deadness? So repent, rush, rush. Wasariu ila maghfiratin min rabbikum. Rush into seeking for forgiveness from Allah. Wajannatin arduha samawat wal ard. In which He has made that there is a gate in the Jannah, there is a door in the Jannah. He has made it. The distance, the wideness, and then the spreadness of the Jannah is like heaven and earth. Subhanallah. Brethren, so this is the first one. Second one, at dua Meet Ramadan. Embrace Ramadan. Get into Ramadan with prayers. When you hear that the month has been cited, you have to cleanse your heart and pray, and pray. Because the only Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to pray. He used to pray even before the Ramadan comes. He said, Allahumma barik lana fir rajab wa shaban. Wa balikna Ramadan. Oh Allah bless us in the rajab and shaban. And then put us or meet us or reach us Ramadan. Seek for forgiveness, brother. Get up in the night. And pray to Allah and try to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Get yourself involved into reading the Quran from now. At least one page, at least one page in the Quran. Make it your word. If it is in Ramadan, you keep on increasing. Juzo, 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 juzo. And seek forgiveness. After seeking for forgiveness, let your tongue be moistened and for and when you go on into two years and for the chicken 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 in Allah better than as on a kind of guruma number two number three rather you have to express gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thanks to Allah who has made it easy for you for Ramadan to meet you? Many are those you have buried just yesterday. And then try as much as you can to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to thank Him to give you because Allah said that whenever you want you express gratitude to me I will increase you so express gratitude for Allah giving you so that Allah will give you the strength to be able to do the good work in this Ramadan. يجب على كل مسلم أن يحمد الله تعالى ويشكره على تبليغ شهر رمضان وهو في صحة جيدة you are in a healthy healthy and wealthy to worship Allah سبحانه وتعالى and then to be able to embark on all the good deeds number four 
you have to be very happy with cheerfulness, to be glad, to be elated, and to have the feeling of happiness deep inside your heart when the Ramadan is coming. Just as when you want to meet every great person, if your president of your country who he can die, a mortal, can die, you are going to meet him. Look at the way you dress. Look at the way you become happy. Look at the way you beat him. How do you meet Ramadan? I wish Ghanaians will take all the FM stations of this country, Ramadan, and then establish about Ramadan. If Ramadan should have been for Christians, we would have failed it. We would have failed it from the televisions, from the satellites, from whatever. Subhanallah. Look at when Christmas is coming. We have to do more than this for Ramadan. There is nothing wrong for us to seize all the stations and put them Ahlan wa salan ya Ramadan. Ahlan wa salan ya Ramadan. Sharrafta ya sharam. Ram? Eh? Sharwal. Sharr Ramadan. You have to welcome him. Let the world know that the great thing has been brought to you. Let people feel that, yeah, you are ready to embrace a, a, a blessed month. We don't see it even in our deeds. We don't see it in our homes. We don't see it on this. All that we see is that people are preparing for dresses. People are preparing for food. People are painting masks. And listen, paint, instead of painting your masks, paint your heart. Paint your heart and cleanse your heart.